Welcome to example 2 in our matrix topic. If you haven't already watched the introduction in example 1, I would suggest you go back and do so. We're going to jump straight into the idea of multiplying two matrices together. It's a slightly unusual idea and there's a few particular things we've got to watch out for. We can't multiply any two matrices together. There has to be an element of what we call conformity. So for matrices to be conformable, there has to be a certain correct combination of rows and columns. And the other interesting thing is that the order does matter here. We'll talk a bit more about that later. So if we want to calculate two matrices, and I'll explain it in this example to calculate the product A, B, matrix A, multiplied by matrix B. Well, A here, you can see, is a 2 by 2. It's a square matrix. So we can just write up here 2 by 2 matrix. And matrix B is a 2 by 1 matrix. So these two matrices are conformable because the middle number, the middle two numbers, the numbers on the inside of the pair are the same. And the other interesting thing is that the resultant matrix, the product that you're going to get, is going to be determined by the two numbers on the outside of these. So in other words, that the, um, the answer, the resultant matrix, is going to be 2 by 1. So watch out for that when we actually do it. In other words, this the number of terms in that, that's the number of columns in the first matrix. There's two columns, and if we think a loop like that, there's two rows there, that has to be the same number. Okay, It's also the way in which we pair up when we're multiplying, as I'll, I'll show you. So first of all, you've got to make sure that you can multiply. Then we've got to work out what does multiplying actually involve. Well, uh, I'll take that away, but it does involve a similar approach to what I just did there. If we want to multiply the two together, it's e better, I would suggest, to write out the matrices side by side. So A, B is equal to 3, negative 1, 2, 1, multiplied by 4, 3. Okay, so what we want to do here is we know the answer is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. So there's actually only going to be two numbers in our answer. There's going to be one here, and there's going to be one here. That's a 2 by 1 matrix. How do we get those two numbers? Well, to get the first one, the first element in the top, then what we do is that I'm going to hi just highlight it here. So we take all of the numbers in the top row and we multiply them by the matching numbers in the first column of the second one. So in other words, we're going to match up the first terms, which are 3 and 4. So I'm going to multiply 3 and 4. And I'm going to add, this wasn't very good, I'm going to do it out here, 3, 4. And we're going to add to that the product of the other two numbers, which is negative 1 and 3. And that's actually going to be the first number in my answer. I was just trying to get a positional arrangement uh, in that first one, so uh, it's way too small to actually fit in the answer. So my apologies. Uh, the second one is going to be row 2 and column 2, and so on. Okay, So row 2 is here, that's the 2 and the 1. Now, there isn't a column 2. In order to get the 1 underneath there, we're going to use the, the row below, in the row below, and we're still going to use 4, 3. So, in other words, we're going to use 2 and 4, the first elements in each of those. We're going to do 2 times 4, and we're going to add to that. We always add uh, 1 and 3, which are the second in each row and column. So that gives us the calculation that we're going to do to get each of the elements. And if we have a look at that, what does the first one give us? 12. I'll do an extra line of working. So that's 12 minus 3. And here we've got 8 plus 3. So overall, we get the answer 9, 11. So the product AB matrix AB has the elements 9 and 11. Okay. 
So let's have a look at what happens when there's a, a few more to have to do because it, it will make a bit more sense as you see the pattern emerge. Calculate uh, the product C times D given these two matrices C and D. So let's just check they're conformable first of all. Matrix C has three rows and two columns. And matrix D is a square matrix, which is 2 by 2. They're conformable because we can see that 2 and 2, the two inside terms are the same. And we know that our answer is going to be a 3 by 2 matrix. We'll just check that that actually is the case. 3 by 2 is going to be our answer. That means there's going to be six elements in our final matrix. So CD is going to be 1, 0, 2, negative 3, 5, and 1, multiplied by 1, negative 4, negative 3, and 2. So our answer is going to be six elements in it. Okay, I'll not limit the space that I need for this. Okay, so how am I going to create all six? Well, I have to take each combination of column and row. So let's start with the first one. So uh, I want to make a term that goes here. So let's actually highlight. There's one, two, three. There's actually going to be a three by two, so it's going to be one, two, three, and two, three, okay? I'll get rid of this one here. So that's going to be the shape of my solution. So there's six elements. To get the first one, I am going to multiply the first row by the first column, and that's going to give me the first row, first column element in my new matrix. So that's going to be 1 times 1 plus 0 times negative 3. Okay, to get the second the element here, uh, the second one down, in uh, so it's still row one, but column so row two, column one, I go to row two, column one. So I'm still going to use these numbers here. So they match up in the position according to which ones you're using in the original matrices. So we've got two times one plus negative 3 times negative 3. Still haven't got quite enough room. And to get the last one in row 1, we use the last numbers in row 1 here. And we multiply, because we're in column 1, we use the numbers in column 1. You see how that combination directs us to where the answer is going to go. So we've got 5, 1, 5 times 1, plus 1 times negative 3. Okay, to get the elements in the second column, we have to then use the second column numbers in that second matrix. So if I change my color, so I'm going to go back up to I'm on row one here. So I'm using my row one numbers one zero, but this time I'm going to use column two. Row one, column two is going to give me the element in row one, column two. So that's going to be one times negative four plus 0 times 2. And I repeat that for row 2, column 2, 2 times negative 4, plus negative 3 times 2. And then for the last one, row 3, column 2, is going to be 3 times negative 4, plus 1 times 2. And then we can go ahead and Simplify that. I'm going to do it just in one go. So I've got 1 plus 0 is 1. Moving down here to the uh, second row, 2 plus 9 is 11. And down here below, we'll get 3 plus negative 3 is 0. If I look at the second column, Is that a 5? Oh, it's a 5. Sorry, I've made a wee mistake here. Um, I've misread because I've put a line around it. So that should be a 5. So that's 5 there. And 
uh, which one was 5? That's going to be a 5 here as well. Okay, so that's going to be 5 plus negative 3, which is positive 2. My apologies. And in the second column, I'm going to do negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4. I've got negative 8 plus negative 6 is negative 14. And I've got 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 plus 2 is negative 18. Okay? So I hope that it's a very uh, slow process that I've done. In time, you'll do it very quickly. There's no real need uh, in the long run to do that middle step of writing out all of the elements multiplying. You will probably do it very quickly going from the original matrices multi uh, written down to doing the mental multiplication and writing down the answer. But you can initially do that middle step just to be sure that you've got everything in place. Okay, So that's how we do... Uh, matrix uh, multiplication. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you, I'll do a very quick uh, example of matrix multiplication just to demonstrate how you might do it in practice. Here's a couple of square matrices. Uh, we'll just do 3, 1, negative 2, 4, and we'll do 1, 0, uh, 3, negative 1. So what I would expect you to get to is by just by inspection, I've got 3, 1, and 1, 3. I know that they're going to be conformable because square matrices are always conformable. So I've got 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 times 3 is 3, which is 6. Underneath, I've got negative 2, there's 2, 4, negative 2, 4, and 1, 3. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, plus 12 is 10. Up to the second column, 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And then last element, negative 2 times 0 is 0, plus negative 4. That's how it will look in practice. Write out your matrices, do the calculations in your head, write it down. Only caveat is you do the middle line if you want to, or if you have to, or if you start finding complicated calculations that you really need to kind of ha have a middle step for. Okay, so hopefully that's been helpful. Examples two and three, you go and practice doing some matrix multiplication.